Turning to the ongoing investigation into Korea's fifth largest conglomerate, Lotte Group, following two raids at more than a dozen business arms, prosecutors are delving into confiscated materials to find clues related to allegations the company amassed slush funds and engaged in other business irregularities in addition to summoning related officials. Kim Minji has the latest. The probe into Lotte Group continues as prosecutors dig deep into allegations the conglomerate amassed slush funds through various channels. An official from the Seoul Central District Prosecutor's Office said Thursday that four to five people, including executives from the group's control tower, have been summoned for questioning. Prosecutors are looking into how the funds were collected as well as where the money was used. Prosecutors said they took statements from Lotte officials familiar with the matter, the Shingyeokko, the founder of Lotte Group, and his second son, Tongbin, currently the group's chairman, received roughly 25 billion U.S. dollars combined in suspicious funds from Lotte units every year. They have said the money was given in the form of dividends and salaries. However, prosecutors suspect it's part of a slush fund. Building on the prosecutor's probe, executives at units that were raided over allegations of embezzlement and illicit transactions are also being called in for questioning. Much of the focus of the investigation is on Lotte Chemical and Lotte Home Shopping. The chemical arm is suspected of using another Lotte company in Japan to buy raw materials in order to inflate prices and then use the extra cash either to create slush funds or transfer those funds back to the Japanese unit. Lotte Chemical is also known as a cash cow for the group, with operating profit of over $1.1 billion last year, which account for a third of the group's total profits. Lotte Home Shopping is suspected of having committed business irregularities in the process of acquiring Chinese firm Lucky Pie. In 2010, Lotte Group set up a paper company to acquire Lucky Pie, and it was carried out by Lotte Units, investing $160 million into the paper company. Prosecutors say they plan to summon more officials and also plan to work with authorities in Japan to obtain materials from Lotte units based there if necessary. Kim Minji, Arirang News.